This was the moment when the 12-year Rosetta mission ended in a crashed landing on Comet 67P. Mission Control in Germany were able to confirm the impact when radio contact with the spacecraft suddenly stopped. Farewell, Rosetta. You've done the job. That was space science at its best. And this was the reaction in the UK at the National Space Centre. <laughs> but why did they decide to end the mission now? Well, the comet Rosetta has been tracking is now so far from the sun that the craft wouldn't have been able to generate enough solar power to keep it working. Rather than that uncertainty of an end of a mission and maybe not having it quite planned, they said, let's go out with a bang. Let's get the most science as possible and fly as close to the comet as possible, fly towards the comet and land on it, turn the, the mission off then, but uh, in the meantime, get this amazing data. And that's exactly what it did, taking high-resolution photos at a rate of three a minute until the last possible second before she died. This is the very last image. It's a bittersweet swan song for one of the most exciting space missions ever. Launched in 2004, the aim was to study the comet 67P churumov gerasimenka so we could learn more about comets and our early solar system. So this little model is a perfect replica of Rosetta and just to give you an idea of the size of the real thing, the main body is about as big as two vans and the span from tip to tip is 32 metres. The data it's gathered will take decades to study and it may be the next generation of astrophysicists seen here learning what a comet's made of who makes sense of it. I feel quite sad because it's uh, getting loads of information that we don't know um, about space yet. So I'm actually I'm quite excited for more data. What, is, what has Rosetta been doing while she's been up in space? She's been sending me to Earth so we can um, experiment on comets. It seems fitting that although Rosetta's no longer in operation, she'll continue her journey on 67P out beyond the edges of our solar system and her legacy will continue for years to come. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.